It is 643. Welcome back on this Wednesday morning, and we are getting into the holiday spirit here at CBS 3. Such a pretty shot there. Our Pat Gallon is looking for a tree to trim at Buster's Christmas tree in <laughs> Lansdale. So, Pat, have you found one yet? I have found many Christmas trees. This is the place to be if you need one. Obviously, there's only a few weekends left until Christmas. So if you need one, come on down to Bustards. They've got every type of tree that you can imagine. It's very fragrant here. Gets you in the holiday spirit, doesn't it? This is Jay Bustards. Jay. How are you? I'm doing well. It's so good to see you. Thanks. Um, let's talk about what you guys have done here for almost a century. This is 90 years of right. Christmas trees. Right. It's our family's 90th year, and we've been here since the 1800s just doing farming and whatnot. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a real fun time. Um, you have been doing this a long, long time, but for the last couple of years, you've been involved in a really special program with the troops. Talk about that. Right. It's Trees for Troops, and uh, we donate 90 trees to put on a FedEx trailer, and then people can come in and, and buy a tree for $35, okay. which then will be sent put on the same FedEx trailer and be sent to a military base in Kentucky for families that have a spouse overseas or whatever. Okay, so you're doing 90 this year, normally you do 50. little 50? But yeah, we normally put about two to 300 trees on the truck because the community support is really, is really great. That's uh, awesome. People are, are good and they, they really like it. All right, let's talk about what tree you need to select for Christmas and how you do that when you come here. Well, two of, two of my favorite ones, this big one behind us is a Nordman fir. Okay. And it has good stiff branches, um, nice fat needles, and uh, it, it's just a really nice tree. That's a big boy right there, yep. too. Yep. And how about this? Now, my favorite tree, and actually this is going to be the tree that's going to go in my house. Oh, you're taking this exact tree. I'm taking this exact like tree. I it's we shear these to have that Victorian look. Okay. We call them a Victorian fir. Yeah. And it's because it's got the long spiky branches and room that you can hang ornaments in. You know, if you have Aunt Ethel's big, <laughs> the big Christmas balls all over the thing, or whatever on it. Perfect. Um, and so it's just that old-fashioned Victorian look, and that's what my wife and I just love. I like it too. Very thick, sturdy, and I know you may not be able to tell because it's a little bit dark out here, but it's got that like snow look to it with that little just that little bit of white in there it's beautiful is it not yep gorgeous jay thank you so much oh, we appreciate it come on down this weekend trees for troops is happening buy a tree give a tree and give back it's the holiday season we should do that right guys yeah i love that idea yeah, it's absolutely. such nice and such nice trees there too mm -hmm. feeling festive with the music underneath you pat all right thank Bringing you so much yes, I'm a festive absolutely. guy what can i say <laughs>